In this video, we're gonna talk about stream mode on the Audio 4C. Now the Audio 4C is an incredibly versatile audio interface. And in fact, in previous videos, we've walked through using it in a recording environment and a playback environment for click and tracks. And in this particular video, we're gonna talk about using it in a live streaming environment. Now we've done separate videos showing you how to set up your live stream with various software, YouTube, Instagram Live, even uh, some hardware devices. But in this video, I wanna talk about putting your interface in stream mode using our for X. Now Oracle for X is the free control software for my connectivity. We've included the link for you to download that in the description of this video. Now let's dive in and let me show you a uh, stream mode on the audio 4C. So I'm going to go over to my computer. I've got my audio 4C connected to my uh, computer here. Oracle for X series is open. I'm going to click the audio button here. This is going to take me into the audio tab. There's a couple different modes. Again, I mentioned uh, we have videos specifically about record mode, play mode, USB one and two. We're going to click stream to put our interface in stream mode. Now, probably the most important thing to point out here are these two particular mixes here, USB one mix and USB two mix. Now, as you're familiar with, or most likely familiar with, um, the audio 4 C has two USB connections. In this particular video, I'm connected to uh, connection one, uh, but USB one mix is what's going to show up on my uh, computer connected to USB one and USB two mix is what's going to show up on my computer connected to USB two. Now, as an example here, let's click into USB one mix. So you have a couple different options here. USB one channels one and two and this is what i talked about with that audio loopback feature that's that's really cool and unique to this interface and allows you to pass the audio that's coming from your computer back to your computer um, without any complicated software right without any sort of complicated routing it's just done for us automatically which is great and this is super helpful if you're live streaming a game uh, if you're live streaming a tutorial if maybe you're doing a one-on-one -on -one lesson with someone over zoom and need to share your ableton audio that's something I do often, this is a really easy way to do this all throughout the, uh, the interface without having to deal with any silly hard uh, software routing. So in this case, if I want to hear the output of a particular program or my entire computer uh, system output, um, I can choose USB one channels one and two. And that's because I'm again, connected to channel uh, to the uh, USB one port on my interface. Now I could also pass audio from a second computer, uh, a second device, iOS device, Android device, uh, tablet, iPad, whatever, that's connected to port two on the interface. And if I wanted to include that, then I could turn this up as well. Th that's a really powerful feature of the Audio 4C because it makes it super simple to share audio between devices and to throw in a, a second device. Maybe it's just your iPhone playing back audio uh, for a live stream that you're doing. Maybe it's an iOS or Android device that you're using to actually create create music and you can pass audio from that device back to your other computer that's connected and then live stream all of that. So again, some really somewhat complicated uh, routings and things that are happening just with a couple clicks of a mouse that's very simple. Now, a couple other things to point out here. We do have those four analog inputs uh, and those are available to me on um, uh, in my mix as well too. So mic one and two, three and four. And again, we have separate videos walking through how to set up our, our analog inputs and outputs here as well. Um, and so there's my USB one mix. Again, I can mute solo, uh, choose between uh, these being a, st a stereo pair or uh, two individual mono channels. And then again, if I have a iPhone, iPad, computer, PC, your Mac connected to the USB 2 port, uh, then I can choose what audio goes to it. Again, uh, I could pass back audio from the same computer or audio from the device that's connected to USB 1. And then there's my mic inputs I could share. Now, if we just stop there, that's pretty incredible and that's a lot of stuff. But there's even a few more things I want to show you here on stream mode uh, in Oracle for X series. On top of USB 1 mix and USB 2 mix, we also can create a mix using our analog outputs 1 and 2, analog outputs 3 and four and then our headphone mix as well and you can see the uh the channels that are available to us there uh we also have our master outputs for each of those so i could turn up or down the outputs for analog one two three and four and then finally my headphones as well here so 
incredibly uh, full of features. Um, stream mode allows us to pass audio between computers connected to the interface. Uh, allows us to pass back our own audio from our computer, which again is great if you're doing um, uh, live streaming a game that you're playing or you want to share your computer audio on a Zoom call. And again, you can do that without changing your audio input settings or dealing with software. It's all done really easily using Oracle for X series and the audio 4C. And on top of that, for analog inputs, we have uh, mixes out of analog one and two, three and four headphones, as well as our USB one and two mixes. And so, so much stuff that can uh, be done with the audio 4C and Oracle for X series. If you have any questions about something that maybe I didn't cover in this video, make sure to reach out to iConnectivity support. You can find the information to contact them in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Take care. Bye.